Hi everyone, this is CNX Software here with Cubibot 4 and I installed a SD card, a micro SD card preloaded with L Ubuntu. I've connected the keyboard, USB hard drive and the HDMI cable to my TV. So let's boot the board. Okay, the LED is on. Take about 30 seconds, I think. Okay, so I start by starting LX terminal. And run HTOP to get some CPU usage information during testing. Okay, let's go through the menu uh, right now to see what's installed. Uh, so, the accessories here were in pre installed. Uh, I installed uh, LibreOffice by myself as well as Firefox, but Chromium was pre-installed. A few utilities. VLC is used to play videos. HTOP I installed after. And you have some preferences, and that's it. So let's start by s with LibreOffice. This is a, a Class 10 SD card. So I already wrote a small document in Writer and it's working just fine. I wanted to install a printer but I cannot find the menu and I installed HPLib but no uh, uh, no quick result so I can I, I cancel this task for now. Okay, so this is LibreOffice boot and now let's switch to Chromium. Always on top, otherwise we cannot see H top. So let's go to CNX software. So everything loads as expected. Let's open a few tabs. image is set to have 2D acceleration. I have no idea how to check it. Uh, but as we'll see later, 3D is not working. So everything is uploaded already okay. So let's play an embedded video now in uh, YouTube. idea why I have no audio right now. Uh, before it was working. Okay, so I made the video appear to play relatively well. So let's go to YouTube. But obviously this video is not the best so and it's not the best for testing since it's not a real video. So let's try that one. And again, no audio. I'm not sure why. Let's 
let's go to the stats for nerds. It's a VP9 codec, so it will be decoded by software uh, with this image. And we've got a few dropped frames. And the resolution is not so high, 480. Yeah, enable the heavy receiver to see if I get any audio at all. Uh, nothing there either. I'm not sure why. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, okay. So turn off the receiver. <laughs> audio has stopped with the TV. I am not sure why. Okay. So the video is being uh, is watchable. It's not perfect. So if we go to full screen. Okay. Uh, we go to left. So. I said turn off right, This resolution is not perfect. But it is still watchable. So now let's. Go to the maximum resolution of this video, okay, 720p. Okay, turn up. Uh, yeah, we can see CPU usage is a little high. test in the web browser. Let's go to Facebook to play Flash game. And can you crush Saga? a little while and the game can load. Let's try to play it. What is that? Okay, I don't know. I just want to play. Thank you. Chromium is struggling, or is the network? I actually don't remember I have this. Okay, I guess I have to play here. Alright, let's play. Sweet. So he's not a 
Everybody smooth. So now I want to try 3D support. As I said, uh, the changelog says 2D is supported, but they don't say anything about 3D. So now I'm trying ES2 gears and VRI2 fail to authenticate. And if I try GMAC2 ES2, same problem. So 3D acceleration is not working in this image. Uh, and then uh, hardware video decoding. So I start Nautilus to play some videos on my USB hard drive. So my USB hard drive has four partitions, uh, but only EXT4 can mount. EXFAT, NTFS, BitFS should not be mounted. Uh, it's probably just because it's not built into the kernel. Uh, let's go to in our files. Starts by H.264, 1080p, 25 frames per second. This is VLC. Let's go full screen. CPU usage is about 65%, 60%, so it's definitely uh, hardware decoding. Okay, let's try other types of videos. Uh, yeah, one thing, Kodi will not work with this because it's not implemented yet. H.265. S.265 is not working. So, uh, so you may have to implement it. MPEG 2. MPEG 2 videos. It will stop with a black screen. MPEG 4 videos. This one is fine and also hardware decoding and one last try with VC1 here again 1080p only audio but no video So let's turn it off. Shut down. And this part works. As you can see, the LED will turn off. All right, done. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.